$1.8 billion? Oh my gosh. All right, so I know people have drug this into the ground, right? I want to give you guys my assessment on on the situation, and it might be popular, unpopular. I'm going to keep it real. I All right, so to my understanding, the problem with this is um, sellers have been taken advantage of. There's a, there's a, there's a confusion about the commission. Now, you guys follow my channel. I talk about commission a lot. So there's confusion about the commission. So, all right, typically this is how a standard listing agreement is, right? So for the most part, there's a there's 6%, right? 6% commission of the total sales price. Now, sometimes it's five, sometimes it's four, whatever the negotiation between the agent and the seller is, that's what the commission is. So now, um, the way it's supposed to get broken down, it's not a requirement, but it's strongly suggested, especially by Revenue, the Real Estate Board of New York, right? Um, it's strongly, strongly suggested and encouraged. You split the commission down the middle, okay? 3% for the sell side, 3% for the buy side is strongly suggested that is the way you break down the commission. How do we figure this part out? We figure this part out by the listing agreement, right? So it's basically the seller's agent is doing um, equal amount of work as the buyer's agent. Um, the buyer's agent possibly just showed that buyer that property that one time, but it's compensation for having other like that buyers taking that buyer to other properties so on and so forth and also it's a marketing tactic you want to be able to pay the buyer's agent enough to incentivize them to bring their buyer to your property right so if there's two there's something called comps right comparables if there's two comparable properties near each other Everything's the same, basically the same square footage, minor rooms, stainless steel appliance, whatever. And this property is offering 3% to the buyer's agent. And this property is offering 1% or 1.5% to the buyer's agent. Which property do you think that buyer's agent is going to take their buyer? Not saying it's right. Not saying it's right. The fiduciary duty to the to the buyer is for the buyer's agent to take them to either one and then let the buyer decide on which property they, they want to live in. However, this is the reality of the situation. If you give just a regular person, take the real estate agent stuff out of it, you take a regular person and say, I'm going to pay you half or less than half to do the exact same work as you could be doing over here. Most people are just going to go over here and get paid more. So there's this big thing and people are finally suing and, you know, there's, there's a big hoopla, right? Here's my take on it. I don't understand what the hoopla is about. Most of y'all don't want to pay the buyer's agent anyway. When I'm selling my properties... I'm splitting my commission down the middle, point blank, period, right? That's just what it is. Now, with Revney, again, it's strongly suggested that it's um it's split down the middle, but I don't have to do it split down the middle, right? It's not a requirement, but it's strongly suggested. What I've seen, so now with um, MLS agents, we call them MLS agents, NAR agents, National Association of Realtors, depending on the listing agreement that they have, the 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 seller's agent is in control of the buyer's agent compensation. So now let's say we the seller actually does give that seller's agent six percent. What a lot of these agents will do is take four and a half or five percent and give the other agent 
one or one and a half percent. Sometimes they'll actually not pay them anything because it's not a requirement. So sometimes they just won't pay the buyer's agent anything. Why? Because they're just trying to get all of that commission. Maybe they got the 6% and just want the entire 6% for themselves. And now if a buyer's agent does come along, they want to try to negotiate that or they just say, listen, we're not showing to anybody that's not a part of this, whatever. Or maybe to get the listing and try to gain market share, whatever goal that they have, they um they take a super short commission. They'll probably take 2% and just say, we're not offering anybody anything because this is 2%. Right. So maybe they normally get 4% on the other side and then it's 2%, 2%. So they're like, whatever. I, if I was splitting it with somebody at 4%, it'd be the same thing. So just 2% and we just won't use a buy. That's hurting the sellers so much, but it went crazy viral, crazy viral. It went crazy viral. I don't know why. I don't know why. I'm going to be real. I don't know why. I'm lost as to why I went viral. You guys don't want to pay the agents anything anyway. Y'all don't want to pay them anything anyway. Why is it going around so on and so forth? Honestly, it, it, it is mind boggling to me because it's like you guys are attaching NAR to this and spreading it out. Pause. And then going around, tell, you're telling other buyers and sellers, this is what, it's even weak. I'm not, I'm not in AR in New York. It's like, people can't, okay, are you, no, are you rep me? Like, nobody knows that language. Most of these agents don't know that language. They just think everybody's MLS. I'm going to be real. They just think everybody's MLS. So, it's like. You're making it bad for everybody because you're too silly to think. All right, so I guess you're trying to, you're like trying to separate yourself from the herd, but you're still doing a bad job because, <laughs> because on your listing paper, you're still going to say NAR, right? It's still, it's still it, all you 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 cutting your nose despite your face to try to get views and likes on Instagram. I it it is crazy to me. It is crazy. I don't for the life of me. I can't understand why. I can't understand why. But this is this is what people do. I tell you, Instagram ruined everything. Like oh boy, that's my take on it. That's my take on it. Should. Should people, it sucks that it even had to come to this because agents are being way too greedy. Agents are just, oh, I need the money. I need the money. They're not doing, they're not good enough at their job on a regular way. So their thing is just, okay, I'm going to get mine somehow, some way. And it's like, come on. And then NAR has you know, what is called the code of ethics. And it's just, to even have to have a code of ethics is a problem. Just like, why you just can't be ethical? Like, why you just can't do the right thing? Like, we're grown, we're not teenagers. We're not, we're not kids, right? Adolescents, whatever you wanna, we're none of that. We're not babies, we're not in our terrible tools. A lot of these agents are in their 40s and 50s. Why do we have to have a code of ethics? Why do we have to have laws about steering and blockbusting and so on and so forth? That just shows you how crazy the people that's in, oh my gosh, like, I don't understand it. I don't understand it. And maybe it's not for me to understand. I'm okay with that. Maybe it's not for me to understand. It does bother me I don't understand it, but maybe it's just not for me to understand. This is crazy. So that's what's going on with the NAR stuff. Agents are getting too greedy with the commissions. They're they're just they're just being silly. And unfortunately, it's a it, it's damn near blanketed. So a lot of people are gonna look at all the agents. Just same as when a lot of people look at all the all the cops and say all cops are bad or all whatever, whatever, whatever. Right? 
you got to hurt the lions and maybe one or two of them are not violent towards humans, you're not going to stand there and just wait to see if, if all right, these two are cool, but the other ones, no, you're going to get up out of there because in your mind, all of them are dangerous. In your mind, all of them are coming for you to do you nothing but harm. So now we have to suffer because you want to be silly. Like, comment, subscribe. All right, like, comment, subscribe. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. I'm out.